First of all, I give all glory, honor, and praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Ruach Kodash. This is uh, Yahweh from Northern Kingdom Prophets. On this video, I just wanted to go in real quick and um, go over some scriptures and curses that pertain to the tribe of Gad. Um, many people may not know this, but 40% of um, Gadite children are uh, taken by social services and the system and placed in um, non-Native American homes. So this is still happening today. And this is um, something that started, they started uh, doing back in, um, you know, back in the 1800s, but it's still continuing today. Um, so much so that the Most High had to, uh, he had to stop it or slow it down with um, something called uh, the Native American Child Welfare Act, which you know, helps uh, Gadite families um, to keep their child, or at least keep them in the community of um, Native traditions. But uh, here's some scriptures that pertain to that. Um, first of all, we start off with Deuteronomy 28 and 15, because this is a curse. It says in the scriptures that this would happen to us for not following uh, the Most High's commandments. Deuteronomy 28 and 15, But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And Deuteronomy, and uh, these are some of the curses. Um, but in Deuteronomy 28 and 46, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So this is still happening today. Um, and this curse that we're talking about, particularly in this uh, video, is that they are taking our children. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. And um, this is just plain. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given to another people, and thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thy hand. This means there's, we have no power over this. I mean, the system is, um, they just, you know, they do what they want. Um, social services, they want to come in and take your children, that, that's just what they do, you know. Um, so this is one of our curses that we're under for not following uh, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai's law, statutes, and commandments. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 41. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. And this is um, what you see in the boarding schools that they have done. Uh, what they would do is they would take Gadite children, thousands and thousands and thousands of Gadite children, and put them in these boarding schools and um, whitewash them. So much uh, so that a lot of Gadites don't even know that they're Gadites. Because, um, you know, the nation may not know this, but many Gadites have Spanish last names. Because we were crushed so much that um, it, was, it was a shame to be a Gadite. It was a shame to be Indian. People look down upon you for that. Just like today, um, being Hispanic is a shame because, you know, the... Uh, this whole political, this whole political uh, thing going on with Trump, you know, he's made uh, Hispanics public enemy number one, and they're being searched out and uh, deported. So America thinks everybody is a, a Mexican, a so-called Mexican that was born in Mexico, and just you know, 
uh, migrated over here. But the fact is, is that this was actually, you know, about 25% of America's land was Mexico. It used to be called Aslan. But you can see thousands and thousands of children were cut off from their heritage. A lot of them don't even know that, you know, they have an inkling of a, a memory of, uh, oh, yeah, well, you know, I, I think we're like Apaches or I think we're, you know, you ask, you ask the elders and they don't even know because they was put in these schools or their parents were put in these schools. So by the time their parents got out of these boarding schools, they was already brainwashed to be like, um, you know, the, the they were they were uh, conformed um, to be what um, the Esau wanted them to be. More like them, you can see in one picture they look like you know Indios. In the next picture. They whitewashed them, they put a suit on them, they combed their hair to the side and they shaved them and, you know, they took their feathers from them, they took their, cut their hair off so they can be conformed and assimilated. So the, the, the ones that were assimilated, they had children and they didn't even tell their children about these, their heritage. So they, the, the, through, throughout the generations, we were cut off, you know to um, the fact that we're Gadites and don't even know. It's like, yeah, they, they might know a little something about it, but they even think they're Hispanic. They even they even think that they're um, from Ishikar because they have a Spanish last name, so they automatically assume that that's their heritage. Oh, I got a Spanish last slave name, so I, I must be, you know, a so-called uh, uh, Mexican or Chicano. But the nation doesn't know that a lot of Chicanos, um, well, most Chicanos are mixed with Gadites. You know what I'm saying? Um, and this is something that the nation of uh, Yasharala needs to know because not everybody with the Spanish last name is a so-called Hispanic. They're actually a Gadite just with the Spanish last name. Um, and some Gadites don't even know that. They just assume that they're they're uh, Hispanic because they have a Spanish last name because they were cut off from their heritage through the brainwashing and whitewashing of these boarding schools. But, but yeah, so it says um, in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 41, Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. And the captivity were these boarding schools. Um, Lamentations chapter 1 verse 5 and her adversaries which is talking her is referring to Yasharala her adversaries are the chief her enemies prosper which is the Europeans they prosper they've prospered in this land and they are chief in this land the Lord hath afflicted her for the multitude of her transgressions and her, her transgressions were not following these law statutes and commands, commandments of the Most High her children are gone into captivity before the enemy. So um, these boarding schools were captivity. And why why is this happening? You know, um, in Psalms chapter 90, verse 7, For we are consumed by thy anger, and by thy wrath we are troubled. Because the Lord is punishing us and this is still happening today and it's going to continue to happen until uh, the the children of uh, the most high god come back to his law statutes and commandments and be obedient to our father and then he'll lift these curses up off us but i just wanted to go over that real quick and um you know put out there some more curses that pertain to the tribe of gad because uh, we are the true uh, children of the Most High. And uh, with that, I say shalom.